there, it's Kristen again. It's time to raid that craft supplies drawer and get ready to do some fun crafting with me. So, you will need a handful of things that hopefully by this point you've got at ready supply. Things such as stickers, popsicle sticks, coloring utensils, cotton balls, string. Those are a few of the things that we're going to use. Now we got three crafts today that are pretty simple and none of them take too long unless you want to elaborate and make them extra long and exciting. So we are going to make a craft that has to do with sheep. We're talking about the story of Jesus as the good shepherd. And we have a lot of sheep crafts out there, a lot of sheep crafts, but the ones we're focusing on today are more about Jesus being the good shepherd and also being a doorway of sorts. And we have one craft that has to do with listening as well. So we're going to make a craft called the sheep in the gate. And that's going to have to do with Jesus as the gatekeeper for the sheep. Then we're going to make a very simple door hanger decoration because Jesus was the door. Then we're going to make a craft that has to do with listening and paying attention because Jesus said that the sheep know his voice and listen when he calls their name. So the first one we're going to do is very simple. This is a door hanger. And all you need are some coloring items, markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever. Um, some other decorations like some stickers, some scissors, and then paper or cardstock or cardboard or something that you can decorate. So we're going to make something to go over a door to remind us that Jesus talked about being the doorway. And so you're going to start with your paper slash cardboard slash whatever now. It might help you to draw sort of an outline so you know what it is that you're going to be drawing within. You can make it just a straight line. That may or may not be straight. You can make it an arch. You can make it a triangle if you want, I guess. And then you want to kind of give yourself an idea of where the door hole, the doorknob is going to go so you can hang it over the doorknob. And if you and if you have a longer or a larger doorknob, you might have a need for a larger hole there. But that's going to give you an idea then. You can decorate it however you like. You can put a verse on here. You can put an extra caption on here. You can put some fun stickers. You can decorate it and color it and go to town. You can do glitter if you're feeling extra excited. And then you're simply going to cut this out. Now, if you want it to be maybe firmer or sturdier, you could glue it to some foam or felt or cardboard and make it kind of something that's a little bit more sturdy. If you have the tools to do some sort of a lamination or put some, um, some plastic around it, that could be fun too. And then you're going to carefully cut out that door hole. And this is the very brief version. A last time after all of this takes place is you have your fun and fabulous door hanger. Or your finished product might be something like this. Jesus is the gatekeeper. Trust in him. So that's pretty easy. Make it however exciting as you want. Now, the next one we're going to do is a little bit more elaborate involved, but it's still relatively simple. You'll need a piece of paper, any size. This happens to be a large piece of paper because I wanted to make it big. You will need some cotton balls. If your cat has not run away with all of them yet, you will need some popsicle sticks, or you could also use toothpicks or even Q-tips, whatever you happen to have on hand that's kind of straight. And then again, you'll need the decorative supplies of a sort. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a fence and we're gonna put some sheep inside of it. So in order to build the fence, you will need to have glue. Did I mention glue? Glue is important. And again, I'm going to recommend the Elmer's type of glue and not the glue stick for this, just because this is gonna be a little bit, this is gonna hold the stick a little better, I find, than the pasty glue stick kind. Um, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna start by making 
your fence. You're going to put some glue on your popsicle stick or your whatever, and then you're going to space these out on your paper and you'll glue them down and then you can glue one across the top and you can do that to make a fence all the way around. Again, I have a, a finished product that I will show you momentarily so we don't have to cover all of the steps and don't have to wait for it to dry. Once you've got your fence in place, you're going to glue your cotton balls. These, as you might have guessed, are sheep. Now, if you want to use pom-poms and have a rainbow flock of sheep, go for it. This is yours, have fun, make it whatever you want it to be. But I just have regular cotton balls because sheep are generally, well, they can be white, they can be black, they can be gray. Again, make it your own. So we're gonna glue the cotton balls inside of your little fence. You can put them down there. You can make it more of a circular thing and put the cotton balls in the center. And then you're going to use your markers, again, whatever color you like, and you're going to draw. If you wanna get real exciting and put little googly eyes on them, go for it. Or you can just draw them some little heads. You can draw them some little legs. Never seen a sheep with legs pointed like that, but you get the idea. And then you're gonna leave a little space in the middle to remember that Jesus is that gatekeeper. You can add a verse or a caption and here comes the final product. You have your sheep. So here's your little fence that you can Again, this is kind of representing a fence that's sort of sideways turned, or you can just go across the top. We have our little sheep in there, and it says, Jesus is the gate. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he shall be saved. That's from John chapter 10. So there's your fun little sheep in the pen. Now, here's a slight variation on it. If you want to get more three-dimensional, you can also, this is a little bit trickier, uh, but you can cut out slits on your paper and fold them. And then, this is the tricky part, then you can have sort of a 3D fence going around your gate. Now, again, it does get a little tricky because you'll have this flappy business going on. But that's just if you want it to be a little more fun and raised and lifted up. If you want to take a shoebox and make a whole sheep diorama scene in the middle and have your fence going around that, that's fun too. If you want to make it edible and put some little pretzels in a cake and have some marshmallow sheep in the middle, again, this is yours. Have fun with it. But there's your sheep in the fence, sheep in the gate, sheep in the pen, whatever you want to call it. Last craft. This one is going to be a reminder that we listen for the voice of Jesus because the sheep know the shepherd's voice. Just like Fiona knows my voice, my cat. Um, not that she always comes when I want her to come, but she does when I don't. Anyways, we're going to make a cup telephone. So it's pretty simple, and it is a fun little low-tech device. All you will need is some string. You can use yarn. You can use twine, whatever kind of stringiness you've got. You'll need a couple of cups. So you can use styrofoam cups, paper cups. Sometimes work a little better if you really want to get technical and carry the noise. If you're just having fun, these are pretty easy to decorate. Um, and then you'll just need some scissors or a pencil, as long as you've got something to cut your string and something to poke a hole. So you're going to get yourself a nice long piece of string and this is really extra fun to do if you've got a couple people to play it with, well, to experiment with. So you're gonna cut yourself your piece of string. Then you're going to decorate your cups if you want to. You don't have to, but that's kind of half the crafty fun. So there's some stickers on there. There are some verses, some, um, some drawings, some writing, some whatever you wanna do. Then you're going to, with your pen or pencil or scissors, you're going to poke a little hole in the bottom of each cup. Do this carefully so you don't completely cave in the cup. Now, if you really want to get fancy, you can do this with tin cans, but obviously that's going to be much harder to drill the hole into. And then 
you're going to string through the hole. Now it does help if you have something to attach this string to. So maybe if you have like a little paper clip or um, something that you can tie it onto so the string doesn't go falling out, or you can just make yourself a nice big hole or tie it onto a bead or a pom-pom or something that's not gonna go slipping out of the hole in the bottom of your cup. So you're going to tie that yarn on and we'll do that in both sides. See, that's why the paper clip is handy. So here we have exhibit A paper clip that will not let the string fall out. Then you're going to have one friend, sister, brother, father, uncle, whatever you have in your household. Um, and one person will stand on one end of the string, the other person on the other. And you are going to talk and use this as little telephones. So one person holds it up to their ear. Oh, I can hear the ocean. The other person holds it up to your mouth and goes, hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello. You can even do it with yourself. If you don't have anyone else at home, go for it. And you can feel the vibrations coming through so you can hear it when you put the cup up to your mouth. Or hey, if you want to just make this a microphone and sing into the microphone, you can do that as well. Have fun with it. Listen, learn, decorate, sing, play, have fun, make some crafts, make some disciples. Have a great week and trust in Jesus. We'll see you next time.